When you open the Gemini tool and select Create Image, you can enter this prompt and create a viral 3D billboard immediately. The secret is the parallax keyword, which forces the AI to break the fourth wall and render pixels like these ice shards outside the frame. Now let's increase the gear. We take this generated image and use the video prompt with the locked off command to animate the explosion. We are asking for a digital glitch to trigger the burst, turning a static concept into a motion ad without warping the building. The building stays perfectly still, but the energy drink smashes out of the screen. This is the power of connecting image and video workflows. Now, why did we start so fast? Because you guys demanded it. I read every single comment on part two. You said, continue. You said, don't stop. So here we are. This is part three of the Masterclass series. If you are new here, buckle up, because we are taking these prompts to the next level today. We nailed the explosion physics in Istanbul. Now let's switch locations to Tokyo and test a glitch burst animation. I'm pasting the image prompt first, setting the location to Shibuya and the product to a glowing cyberpunk sneaker. We generate the static image first to perfect the neon lighting on the sneaker before we try to animate it. Now we take that static result and apply the video prompt with the locked off command to trigger the glitch animation without moving the camera. The camera stays rock solid thanks to the prompt, while the glitch effect snaps perfectly to stop the scroll. To run these heavy prompts at scale, I use OpenArt as my central hub for every top tier model. It's the only subscription you need to access latest models of Nano Banana, Vio, Kling, Sea Dream, and much more all in one place. They are running a New Year campaign now with discounted prices until January 31st. You can lock discounted prices for the entire year. All right, we're back. We've done massive scale with the billboards. Now let's go tiny. We are going to use the Pocket World prompt to recreate London, specifically Westminster Bridge. I'm adding a rainy evening atmosphere. Pro tip, wet surfaces in macro photography look incredible because the reflections are huge compared to the tiny objects. We are also keeping the instruction for soft, plastic-like texture on the vehicles. We want them to look artificial. That's the charm. Pasting it in. Watch how the model interprets the diorama instruction. Look at the blur at the top and bottom. That is the tilt-shift effect working perfectly. The double-decker bus looks like a die-cast toy. The water looks like resin. This isn't just a picture of London, it's a picture of a model of London. This is incredibly powerful for establishing shots in storytelling or unique social media posts. We aren't done with the tilt-shift yet. Let's prove this works for sci-fi by completely changing the subject matter while keeping the macro lens settings. I'm adding Mars Rover, specifically adding orange atmospheric haze and tire tracks. The tilt shift effect needs texture to work. If the ground is too smooth, you lose the sense of scale. So by adding haze and tracks, we force the AI to calculate depth, which makes the blur effect on the rover's wheels look physically accurate. Look at the wheels. The blur makes this massive rover look like a Lego set which is exactly the aesthetic we want for a cute, stylized social post. Let's pivot to something practical. Say you have a raw photo like this, but no graphic design skills. We are going to upload this shot and force the AI to build the layout. We use the fashion canvas prompt with keywords like magazine style layout and clean typography lines to overlay visual hierarchy onto your existing image. After uploading the photo, now I'm pasting the prompt and hit Generate. We are checking if the model can recognize the subject in the photo and place the text elements logically around them without covering the face. It preserved the model perfectly, but built a full editorial spread around him. The layout is done. You just need to patch the text in Canva. This isn't just for clothing. I'm uploading a raw, unedited photo of a luxury watch to see if we can create a high-end product ad. For the prompt, I'm adding dark marble and sans serif for typography to match the expensive vibe. This is crucial. The AI will pick up on the material of the watch and match the text color to it automatically, effectively analyzing the materials in the photo to create a matching brand identity. It identified the watch face and the strap, drawing perfectly straight pointers to them. 
This is an instant high-end ad creative generated from a simple watch photo. All right, we are picking up the pace. Speed round. I want to show you two quick prompts for style consistency and vintage aesthetics. First up, the style matrix. I'm uploading this portrait. The style matrix prompt applies nine different hairstyles to her face in a single generation, creating an instant, consistent lookbook. The style matrix isn't just for women's hair. Let's upload a photo of a man and ask for a 3x3 three three grid of different beard styles. I'm changing the template as you can see with beard style keyword. This is the fastest way to check character consistency for a short film, or just to see how you'd look with different facial hair before you commit to growing it out. It keeps the jawline structure identical in every single square. It mapped the hair perfectly to the jawline without distorting the chin, which is a common failure point in other models. Next, the retro travel poster. I'm uploading this image of the woman, and keywords like film grain and aged paper instantly transform it into a hand-painted 1975 movie poster. Okay, breathe. Let's get back to the complex stuff. Let's visualize a travel itinerary. The dotted root path keyword creates a vertical 916 map perfect for TikTok backgrounds. I'm replacing the location placeholder with Tokyo and asking for a vector style to keep the itinerary clean and readable instead of messy photorealism. This prompt has to balance text, icons, and layout simultaneously. It creates a flowing path with distinct color zones for each neighborhood, ready for your travel vlog. Let's stress test the root visualizer with nature, since Tokyo was dense and urban. But does this logic work for a road trip in the middle of nowhere? I'm typing Iceland Ring Road, Skogafoss, to have our new touristic map for Iceland. It completely changed the mood. It replaced the subway lines with a winding road graphic and used greens and blues to match the nature theme perfectly. What if you teach online? You need whiteboard explainers. This prompt creates those engaging, hand-drawn diagrams that make you look like a genius without needing to actually draw. I'm typing in digital marketing funnel, hitting generate. This is great for presentation decks where stock photos feel too corporate and cold. It looks like I just drew this during a lecture. It's high resolution, but it feels analog. That creates trust with your audience. For the teachers, let's switch from business to biology and see if we can visualize a biological process without it looking like a boring textbook. I'm typing photosynthesis. The hand-drawn keyword is doing heavy lifting here. It deliberately makes the lines slightly wobbly to simulate human drawing, which psychology shows actually helps students retain information better than perfect, sterile vector lines. It drew the arrows for oxygen and carbon dioxide perfectly. It looks like you spent 20 minutes drawing this on the board before class started. Now this is the most personal one. We all use emojis, but they are generic. Let's make a custom emoji pack using your face, or in this case, a stock photo face I'm uploading. We demand an eight-piece emoji reaction pack while strictly enforcing preserve exact identity. I've set the style to modern minimal illustration, so it looks like a sticker, not a creepy photo. This is the ultimate test of the model's control. Can it bend the face into emotions without breaking the identity? It retained the exact facial structure across every emotion, giving you a custom sticker pack for Telegram. The emoji pack works on pets, too. I'm uploading a photo of a cute cat to generate a reaction pack. The AI struggles with animal emotions usually, but the sticker style simplifies the fur texture, allowing the model to exaggerate the eyes and mouth, just like a Disney character without it looking uncanny. It captured the fur pattern perfectly, but gave the cat human-readable expressions which is gold for pet Instagram accounts. That was nine advanced prompts in under 15 minutes. We went from giant 3D billboards in Istanbul to tiny 3D Londons, and finally, to your own face as a sticker. I've put every single one of these templates in the description below. Copy them, tweak them, break them. If you wanna see part four, you know what to do. Type continue in the comments right now. Don't let the series die here. Thanks for watching and go create something impossible.